Today we are doing a throwback on the Squirrel Farms map in FS17. We will be doing some tree removal. We'll be heading over to the shop in our 2015 GMC 1500. Today we will be removing a tree that has fallen and removing another. We will be using a wood chipper along with a bobcat skid steer. For trucks we will be using the F550 tree truck and a 2017 F250. I'm excited to not only be back here with the tree services but to be in FS17. I really do enjoy doing these throwback Thursday videos for all of you. This GMC is one sweet truck, over 34,000 miles on it so far, I really do like it quite a lot. Now this is kind of the shorter crew cab, but it still kind of works, and it is one awesome looking truck, pretty sporty as well, uh, with the uh, wheels that we have on it. Now this does have the V8 in it, which is pretty sweet. Let's take a quick walk around of today's setup before we head on out. We will be using the following mod to get both over to the job site. Here it is, a 2010 a Ford F550 tree trucks. This is where all the wood chips go. Our lizard wood chipper, uh, which is pretty cool. And then we do have the Bobcat 863 turbo uh, tracked skid steer with the uh, grapple on the front, 18 foot bumper pole. We'll be driving the 2017. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. Let me know how it is down below. Uh, my day has been a bit busy so far, but it's been great. I really do enjoy the tree services. It's a very busy company in both 17 and 19. It's when uh, we get hired to remove trees or uh, to clean up uh, fallen trees. Today is a mixture of both, which is pretty neat. Perfect, the Fall Me mod uh, works so uh, nicely. Now we do have to make sure we are going down in the uh, proper streets as well. We don't want to kind of go into a whole different area, but I think it's actually the uh, next street over is where our job site is. Now I was planning on building a map this uh, winter for FS19, but I found a few problems with the textures and a few other things, and I have decided to kind of hold off on it. And it looks like it was actually on the opposite street. That's okay. It might be a little bit better that we're on this uh, uh, side, the opposite side of the street, I guess. Sometimes it does happen. I do always go out and give quotes, but uh, there's so many quotes that we do, and sometimes we forget, and here it is. So, wow, uh, definitely a pretty big tree. Right about here should be good. We'll get the uh, trailer off the curb. Now I have been thinking about bringing back the landscaping series here in 17. I still really do enjoy this game. It's a great game and there are still some cool things that we could do in it that we can't in 19. Awesome, so let's get the uh, strobe lights going on this truck, get the hazard lights going and we'll kind of just have this, uh, have the chipper backed into uh, the driveway and the truck will be in the road. That's the best way I'm going to say that we could make this work perfect right about there. Seems to be good. Let's take a quick walk around of the uh, job. We definitely don't want to leave that running. So we have this fallen tree. Luckily, it uh, came crashing down over here, not up there. Uh, there are bedrooms up there, so that's good. And next up, we have this one here. Uh, the majority of this tree, uh, we could probably just chip up. Now, they do want the firewood as well. They want it kind of stored on the other side. So that's kind of why uh, we are just chipping the small pieces. And then this will all be firewood. Let's get the uh, bobcat over here, get it warmed up, and we'll be firing up the chipper towards the end once we do have a big pile of material. It's just so loud that we don't want it running for too long. I'm excited to be back here with this bobcat. This is a nice smaller bobcat that's all we really need for the majority of uh, the projects, and the tracks are preferred so we don't kind of dig up the lawns. So I think the first thing to do, the smarter thing to do, is to kind of clean this one up before we get going on removing the other one.
If you do have any recommendations for me for videos, please let me know. I really do enjoy using your feedback to improve the channel and the videos. Now what we are doing is we are cutting them in around 3 foot uh, pieces and then uh, he said he'll cut them and split them smaller and I think that's the most efficient way and it was a little bit cheaper doing it this way as well for him. If we were to cut them to a foot, foot and a half, we would have to charge quite a lot more and a lot more labor to move them around. But the skid steer luckily is here to save our backs from kind of lifting these and carrying them. We will be doing some tree services in uh, 19 soon, but I thought we'll, uh, this would be the perfect thing to do for the throwback. Perfect, so there we go, and uh, the majority of this smaller stuff could actually get chipped up, so we'll leave these here, this one and this one uh, will be uh, chipped up, and then yeah, the rest of this will just be uh, brought over there, so let's get going on this, and we should be able to get the other one uh, uh, removed as well, I definitely want to bring the chipper and kind of you put it to work today. I hope everyone is excited for 2020. It will be a pretty epic year here for the channel. Lots of big things coming this summer. I'm very excited for what's to come. And a lot more real life videos uh, with the Subaru and different things like that. Even some probably other videos working on uh, machines and things like that. Now I think it would be nice to kind of pick up two at once, but then we won't be able to really stack it the same. Yeah, so more than likely that's going to fall right off, which I'm okay with. I do have the AC cranked on inside the cab, it's just so nice to have, and I really do uh, enjoy using the skid steer a lot, it's probably one of my favorite skid steers, very nice high quality, you do have the option for tracks or wheels, and I, I just really I think this is the perfect fit for us. As especially for tree work where we really only need it uh, to lift uh, pieces of wood, I think it fits the uh, company pretty well. Now this customer does have a pretty nice backyard, I actually want to buy one of those uh, for the homeowner series, I think that would be pretty nice to add on. Now the grapple here is just so efficient, probably one of the best attachments uh, you could have for the skid steer, really helps out, gives you so much more uh, opportunity to kind of pick things up in so many different things, and... Wow, that, oh, almost going to say, if we would have closed the grapple there, we could have got two stacked on top of each other pretty easily. Now that chipper there does fully work, and sometimes it is a bit tricky with the length of the pieces, but it should work fine for us today, and uh, that's going to be awesome to fire up here probably in a few minutes. Now this piece here is a bit small as well. We should be able to pick it up, and nope. Let's cut it in half here. We'll just kind of chip these up, and uh, that should be good. Now I think we do have to ch uh, kind of chip these up a little bit smaller, cut them up, uh, so that they kind of fit in the chipper. But all these will go. They're just a little bit too small, and he only really wanted the big ones. Perfect. Let's get this uh, cut down here. Two trees pretty close together, and uh, he wanted this one to go. And timber, pretty close to skid steer, but luckily uh, it didn't come close to hitting it. Now this is the one he wanted completely chipped up. He definitely does not want to burn this. The uh, oak wood there burns a lot better. I think the best thing to do now is to just use a skid steer, bring it all the way over here. It's not worth picking up one by one when we could just use this to bring it over. Now it's also a nice thing is to have the machine here to make our lives easier and uh, make it so we don't hurt our backs. Perfect, and we'll just uh, bring it over. 
So let's get that chipper fired up here. We do have a pretty nice, decent pile. Sometimes uh, they fire up the chipper and do little by little, but I thought having it all at once would be a much better uh, thing to do. Let's get the uh, chipper going here. We'll get the uh, pipe unfolded. Should go right there. And big shout goes out to Wood Metal Farming for making this. And this actually, I believe, does have a winch. It looks like there is a winch over there. Now that's awesome. Let's kind of see. Can you attach a winch? Oh, you can. That is awesome. Let's get this running now. And the truck engine needs to be started as well. Perfect, there we go, we got the chipper fired up here for the first time, and I can't wait to really see how we do. Let's first try it here with a smaller piece, haven't used this in uh, quite a while, it's been just kind of sitting here, and perfect, look at that guys, we are chipping up, and I uh, really can't wait to uh, see how we do here. Hopefully it just takes us all, but I'm not sure if it will. Sometimes these modded chippers sometimes are a bit different. There we go guys, it's fully working here. And a little bit of readjusting, but there we go, chipping. And wow, that's awesome, pulls it right in. These are pretty dangerous as well if you don't really know what you're doing. I'll cut this a little bit smaller. Like I did touch upon these smaller pieces, I think, uh, go through any chipper easier and faster as well. And they just kind of seem like they don't want to go in today. And, oh, this one here is going to really not want to go in. Oh, yeah, this one just does not want to. That's pretty funny as well. Let's kind of see. Can I pick it up? I think that if we rotate it, let's kind of give this a try. Hmm. <laughs> Perfect, we got it out. Let's cut it up a bit smaller here. That might be the uh, trick we need. Yeah, I think if we put it in that way, it will work. Perfect. So there we go. Let's kind of see if it will take one of these longer... Uh, uh, smaller pieces in I think it should uh, work pretty easily with this and let's kind of cut this up a little bit smaller running these chippers aren't uh, really easy here in farming simulator but you guys can see and this one same thing as well looks like they just have to be smaller and go in the opposite way there are a lot of cool videos coming a lot more games will be featured here on the channel we'll always feature farming simulator but uh, for a second video we might do some other ones as well because i, I like playing other games and i do a lot of that on my uh, personal time perfect yeah, they just have to go in that way. And yeah, this chipper will chip anything up. Just has to go in this way here. Now, it would be nice if it didn't have to uh, go like this, but it looks like we found kind of the workaround. We'll just throw it in. Perfect. And let's kind of look back here. And it's actually not going back there. Let's kind of see. Not sure exactly what's happening there, but it should be kind of throwing it back in the, the F550. I hope you guys enjoyed today's busy day here. We removed that fallen tree and cut the other one down. I will just have to finish grinding it up here with the chipper. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next video and subscribe for more.